I've been objective, which is another way of saying critical, but the Manticore has a big day in New York's most hunted park. Hello and welcome to New York City. I'm like a month behind on my videos. This was mid-January. This is where you spend the majority of your time in New York City. But in a few minutes, we're about to test the Manticore versus the Equinox. Look everybody, it's Jeff. Jeff's bringing the Equinox. He's got the Manticore on the way. And uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to match some signals. All right, as of right now, I would say that I have about 25 hours on the Manticore, which is not a lot. Um, 25 then, maybe about 100 right now, which is still not a lot. And I'm, I'm trying to feel my way around. Uh, I'm trying to see what's what. And uh, let's put it this way. This is a grow video. We're going to continue to grow. And anyway, happy hunting. Let's go. I have the recovery speed high because <laughs> this sounds like a New York park. Because it is. Machine says on it. Can you repeat that? It's, an, it's like an interesting mid-tone and it appears to be deep. Okay, interesting mid-tone. I see where you're marking off. Appears to be deep. It sounds like iron in some angles. Other angles, it's a crisp 12-13. Just curious. I mean, it could be iron, but I just wanted to see. It's a mid tone for you, or is it all over the place? All right, let me pull my headphones down so that you guys can hear better in the audience. Getting a repeat, especially at this angle. I was hearing more iron. Yeah, more iron on one side. Just curious. It, it was an interesting mid tone signal that I maybe stopped. Well, I think it's going to be a nickel. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's really weird. But it's weird. I just right? stepped it could on have where a you. Next to it or something. Yep, right here. I think you right got there, something right? good. Yep. Yep. I think you got something good. Sort of, uh, old bling, yeah. or a little. Uh, it's got some letters. I don't know. Well, that's interesting. I guess. No, it's, Does that uh, say? I, I think it's some sort of decoration, like like yes. Greek Greek decoration. I don't know. Yeah, take a look <laughs> if you want. So Jeff and I were calling each other over when we found either a deep signal or one in like real congestion, which happens in New York parks. Right here, jumping up to the 90s. I got it. Yep, right here. Jeff is a master Equinox user, oh, yeah. and he's really good at deciphering the difference right, between a ferrous and a non-ferrous object with the Equinox. He does it by ear, and he does it yep, with I see his it on your screen. pinpoint. There it is, right there. Yep. So one thing that's really great about the Equinox is you could somewhat get the shape of an object with the pinpoint. It's not perfect by any means. But what Jeff does is when he presses the pinpoint button, if it is not directly under the pinpoint, chances are it's a piece of iron because on the edge of an iron signal, that's when you get the falses. That's when you get the signals that sound like silver, but it's really the edge of an iron signal. So if he pinpoints right underneath and there's something that is there, he can infer that it is a non-ferrous target. If it's something that he has to move the coil one way or another, chances are it's iron. And he's been very good at predicting that. He predicted this. Iron. All right, I'll do my best to show you the target trace on this one. See that down at the bottom? On the deep signals, it is very tough to tell. and the numbers bounce around. Hey, Jeff, I got one. Pick it up. Sounds like iron. I'm not sure if you swing it in the right spot. It was like right over here. I, I, this is where you had your foot. Gotcha, okay. Here it is. Right. With the Equinox, you do most of your work by ear. 
but the manticore gives you a visual accompaniment that can help you. The target trace. Right there, it's got a lot of iron signatures. Okay, let's see. All right, I took my headphones off just so we could get a good shot, uh, sound at this. You're seeing more non-ferrous than ferrous. I was wrong about that there. That was a ferrous target. It's going to be a nail. But at the bottom of the screen, you saw it was a flat line. You know, it, it depth... It is a lot less reliable, but I read that one wrong. You want something ideally in the center of the screen, and you want something that is round. We're super faint. Okay, super faint. Should be really deep. Yep, all the arrows down. But look at this, there's a circle right in the middle of the exactly. target trace. Take a look at this. I'm hearing some iron now. Yeah, there's plenty in there. It could be iron. It's barely noticeable on the knocks. I can hear it and I can see it and I'm seeing more of a clear circle here. I'm not getting anything with my... All right, he's not getting anything with that yet. That sure looks like the signature of iron. Getting a repeat. Yeah, now. we've been getting a ton of iron today. Jeff's uh, signal also was iron. This video will pick up fast in terms of good finds, but it's inevitable if you hunt a hunted park, you're going to go for the iffy signals. And very often uh, those become iron. You guess wrong. You know, here's the irony, folks. So Jeff just got an Indian head. How, how many inches down is that? Two and a half. Two and a half inches down. <laughs> There you go. People assume that it is a uh, zincon and don't dig it. Good job, man. It was it rang up like a 1920. There you go. That's zincon on, on the Equinox 800. All right, so let's go to the screen here. This is one that Jeff called me over for. It's about 18 to 22, and every once in a while it bumps higher. Interestingly, on it's on the high level here majority of it okay we're getting something down here Your caliber bullet see he was able to hear a boulet a bullet a 22 caliber hour. yeah man yeah good stuff that's the knocks baby yeah yep all right i've been trying too hard to make a video let's let me just dig a lot get more comfortable with this then we'll do some more comparisons I took my headphones off. This one is a little doubter. This is just punching it. Five arrows down. Let me show you the screen. I'd call this a little doubter, Jeff. Right here. Right here. All right. Sounds like iron. All right. Sounds like iron. Hold on. You know, it's funny. I actually didn't remember him saying that. I remember him telling me on this signal, like, enjoy your silver. It's pinging. It's pinging. Yeah, that's I hear the ping on that. So that's a strong signal you'd... Yeah, that could be a coin with iron around it. That's a prospect. Uh, that's that's prospect for you. Man. Prospect special right here. Let's go. Okay, interesting, because we're getting something here and something here. So it's a double signal. Let's get what's in here first. And I think I see that. And we got, got? pull tab here so far. There's more down here. Oh, silver. We got silver. All right. There we go. This is getting tougher and tougher to do. Oh, and guess what it is, Jeff? What? 
But what coin loves me, Jeff? A Merc? Of course. Yeah, but look at that, man. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Sucker. I'm happy. I'm not. Thanks, brother. Thanks, look brother. You got it. There you go. Right, right I mean, in the middle. Come on. Of... How many people have been over and over and over and over this spot? That's true. All right. So officially, let's put that ah, seven inches down. Seven inch Mercury. What year? Uh, year. Let's see. Year is 1929. It's a stock market crash, Merc. 1929. 1929. Almost 100 years old. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm telling you, a lot has happened since this video, like including this, yeah, 1939, Mark. Higher, uh, like uh, 20s, low 20s, deep. Okay, Jeff's got deep. another interesting one. Okay. Getting it, that's a great one. Let me try another angle. Sure. Getting at both angles, yeah. Yep. Beautiful patina on it. He's got an Indian head. How deep? Uh, not terribly. So that's no. uh, eight inches, maybe or so. Well, yeah, nine inches. That's a deep signal. Yeah, good stuff. Let's get. Well, you're gonna put it on your Instagram. So that's yeah, all good. There we go. Everybody follow Digging Long picture. Island Instagram. Yeah, he'll send pictures. Nice. <laughs> Jeff's got a good one right here. I called Jeff over a bunch of times. All my signals to this point had been ironed, but the good part is about to start. Yeah, it's an old lead uh, buckshot. All right. And that was deep for a buckshot. Yeah. Wow. Shot, meaning for shooting a buck or for... And Merrill's not criticizing the nice lady because... Well, it's yeah, just it's, it's just a type of shotgun shell. It splits apart, as no, I no, understand it. No, no, there's a whole bunch it. of BBs no? in it. Yeah, they split shell. apart, right? No, they cut, they, they're they already split apart. They're well, just loaded in there. Shows what I know about buckshots. <laughs> From what, what year? Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's been in there. The color of the lead is starting to be white. Yes. Yeah. So it's probably close to at least... Uh, 100 years old. 100 years, yeah. probably. Wow. Awesome. Metal detectors, NYC? Metal detecting, NYC. Yes. Detecting. Yes. Cool. Nice yeah. to meet you. Take, Take care. care. This is amazing with the Knox, though. Yeah, that, look how small that is. Uh, and it was probably nine inches down. Oh, for the sake of your viewing pleasure, let's do the next few finds in rapid succession. Old nut? I don't know. No, that's me. I'm an old nut. Let's go. Oh, boy. Everything is iron around it. All right, I put on the mask. Okay, so the iron, it's no longer in all metal mode. This is a deep signal and a strong repeater. And it's not being cut off. Now the target trace, let me show you. The longer I'm hunting here, the less that I'm using it to tell you the truth. This appears somewhat circular, but it's tougher to tell when it's deep. Let's go. And we got it. That was uh, not terribly deep. Uh, we're on the wheat. We just got a wheat scent. But we might have a new method while we are new at this detector. Um, I needed to, I, I, on the Equinox, I always go all metal. Here, I needed to put the mask on. It's hearing everything. It's hearing so much. Ooh, you made a crater, dude. Okay, let's see how deep this is. So, well, yeah, man, that's like 12 inches or so. Good stuff. He yeah, just got Indian head. Indian head pen. Good stuff. Just, it was a deep one. I was like, wow. If you don't mind, I'm gonna come search over here. No, 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 definitely. Thanks, brother. So here's where the manticore begins to crush it. We changed sections of the park and uh, it, it fresh start with the signals. I was putting the mask on and uh, fresh start. It was a do over. Turn down the recovery speed. High 80s. I think we did it. This was not deep at all. Oh yeah, here I was hyper-focusing on how deep this manticore can go and three inch silver right here. And it's a quarter. Yeah. 1942. That was not deep.
Okay. 79.81. Four arrows, three it's arrows. It's a dime. Usually I give you the disclaimer that, uh, you know, I've, I've dug lots of clad. Today, that's not the case. Uh, I've skipped a bunch that are like surface, which is probably not wise because I'm trying to test this detector. But um, yeah, we just got some clad. Jeff, I got a good one here. It's a bunch of signals. So we got something close to surface here, and but I'm getting a good signal here. And I've turned down the recovery speed. Oh, that's the winner right there. That's the winner. Right there, oh yeah. That's silver, right there. Ooh. Right there. All right. Yep, I hear that too. Let's go. In there. Yeah, below the plug. That's such a good thing. Love it when it's below the plug. Yeah, Let's see. I'll be shocked if that's not silver. That's not silver. All right, but what is it? That's the question. That is probably going to be a weedy. Okay. Yeah, we love Wheaties. Wow, that really sounded like silver. Yeah. Yeah, one cent. That's a wheat cent. Hey, you got a little spot here. Good. Yeah, four, four to five arrows there. Yeah, he's getting it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Repeating in every direction. Yeah good i see you oh hey jeff jeff there we go slq it is what is it slq get out of here yeah knew it yeah Equinox got it. Equinox will get that. That's a seven seven inch quarter right there. Nice, SLQ. Dude, you're Thanks, fired, brother. Dang. There we go. Is that three silvers? That's three silvers, oh, but uh, I, one was really serviced. So, Two, well, I'm happy. Bro. Listen, I'm happy. Come on, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's been the story of my whole life. <laughs> Any day that you get a standing Liberty quarter, do we have a date? We don't have a date. Uh, 1920, 1920 something. Anywho, any day that you get a Standing Liberty Quarter is a good day. I made a wrap for Standing Liberty Quarter. I'm gonna link to it up in the top. So you should definitely listen to that. I'm getting a loud 96, 97. Got a whole entire chain of keys that makes sense all right look at this this is what the target trace screen looks like in new york you see all those dots there yeah <laughs> probably a modern quarter but let's see. jeff's got something this one. Oh, Jeff went ring. Yes, sir. Let's look at that. Oh, look at that shine. Whoa, Jeff. Whoa. On the board. On the board, sir. Can't be ignored while you're on the board. You can't be ignored. Well done. <laughs> well done, sir. Yeah. My little Jeffy is all grown up and he is a beast of a detectorist. This is just some of the pulls. He had more than one Indian head penny this day, but uh, you should follow him on Instagram. Diggin' Long Island is his uh, Instagram, Instagram username. You know what's interesting about this? I've, uh, I've pulled three silvers. Um, I'll count, well, yeah, it's three. I was going to say two because one was like at the surface. I think another detectorist might have dropped it. Um, I'm not really seeing the mid-tones. You see 31? I'm getting mid-tone and low-tone numbers. Now, the program that I'm using is uh, Deep High Conductors. And I wonder if something, if that has something to do with it. Repeating 37. 
We just got something interesting. Yes, we did. Look at this. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. I was not expecting this. Look at that. That's silver number four. Uh, I think. Uh, you know what? One side is. This is an old pin. Yeah, look at this. What's that? Looks like a turkey. Oh. One side is silver, at least. Oh, that's silver. I think. It looks silver to me. Yeah, I think. Uh, awesome. I'm, I'm going to count it as a silver. But I uh, would. Yeah. It's got the color. I also See? found a cuff link. I'm trying to yeah. find it. It's not silver, it's copper. This was 37 yeah. uh, on a scale of uh, 100. Oh, nice cuff link. Look at this. You can wear that nowadays, especially with the dirt. Look, yes. at, look at look at that. Yeah, man, we're finding old vintage. Vintageo. Yeah. Well, dang, look at this. It's a face. I still haven't fully cleaned it yet. Um, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, silver on this side too. It seems to have been seems to have had a back that was not silver, and it's a pin. I believe, but that's pretty darn cool. Let's clean it up. Well, I gave it a quick rinse. We gotta, we gotta do some further cleaning, but that is pretty darn cool, I have to say. Whoa, look at what Jeff just found. Vintage-y item, I dug a mid-tone. That's epic, how deep was this, Jeff? Uh, probably about um, seven inches. It's a crown for a mouse king. <laughs> I'll clean it and I'll uh, figure it out That's later. epic. What in the world is this? Is this a pin? What the heck is this? Button? That's wild. That was about well, six, seven inches down. Um... Probably modern. You don't see buttons like this. I don't know. Captain America bullseye before Captain America? 70, 69. We have a coin. I think this is going to be a wheat. I believe I saw a... Yeah, there's a Lincoln. So we got a wheat scent. Well, finally got an Indian head penny. There we go. Yeah, this was a month ago. We just cleaned it, but you know what? We got a date, 1903. There we go. More cleaning to go. No way. What is this? It's like an old MP3 player. Whoa. Craziness. Yeah, let me tell you how this went down. Uh, somebody got frustrated with this because this was in the woods by the trees. This does not sit on the surface for long. A coin, sure, that'll sit there and sink. That's happened so many times as evidenced by metal detecting. But this one, no, that's not going to work. But uh, somebody probably got frustrated early 2000s and chucked it. On our way back to the car, but this is just so vast. <sighs> New York, you gotta love it. <laughs> Look at how much forest we have, you believe this? And mud, look at this. Good day. I, I thought I was getting skunked at the beginning. Oh, you got it. You killed it. Yeah, no, it was a great day. Um, For this place? You know what the difference was? Like, I, I always dig all metal on the Equinox, and I figured that it would be the same on the Manticore, but, uh, you know, things really started taking off after I put the mask on. And uh, I think that helped. You were, uh, you were in, the, you're in the zone, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a good detector. I still don't see it much. Oh, come on, GoPro. Why cut off right there? I was about to say I didn't see too much of a difference between the Equinox and the Manticore in terms of performance. You get more inference, no doubt about that, uh, with the target trace, and you get better sound. You've heard me rave about the dais and the sound quality that it gives, and something called square tones in the dais, too. 
enhanced audio is just like that with the Manticore, and it makes it worth it. Uh, I hope uh, people don't see me as too negative about the detector. I'm not. I'm just saying in terms of depth, you saw Jeff pull that 12-inch Indian head signal there, and at least not yet, it has not revealed to me that it is substantially deeper than the Equinox. I have a video that shows a 13-inch pull, and, um, you know, really, could I have gotten that with the Equinox? Could I have gotten any of this stuff with the Equinox? I do think so. But um, there's also levels to this detector, such as the sound, such as the target trace, that differentiate it. Man, look at the erosion around this old tree. Let's look. Jeff might have just dropped the mic for us. He got a Merc. I'll show you a close-up of that. Good stuff. Go, go, go. All right, it's here. Whoa, what the heck is this? Is this a pipe? No, this is a lever. Ah, never mind, Jeff. <laughs> No, you know, this is like one of those old window levers. Yeah, this is somehow fill dirt. Okay, just got a deeper coin. Wheat scent. Here's my big chance. Look at this, it's like a washer. Huh. 80, four arrows down. Wheat scent. Oh man, I'm on the wheat again. Okay, my GoPro just cut out as it always does in the cold weather. This is what I've been waiting for. All day. All right, I see you. It is the same size as a quarter. And I'm gonna cry if it is just a regular quarter. I don't think it is though. Okay, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> it's a quarter. Oh, wow. All right, this is gonna be the last signal, I think. Deep one, 94. Yeah, so I deleted <laughs> the good part with my phone. That last signal turned out to be this, and that's a 19, just made it, 1964, Rosie. So it was a five silver day at Prospect, which I haven't had a five silver day in Prospect in a long time. And I was hunting in the high conductor mode. Maybe there's something to it. As of right now, I am struggling to see much performance difference between the Manticore and the Equinox. And that's because the Equinox set the bar so high, I'm not calling it a bad detector. Manticore is not a bad detector. It has not totally revealed itself yet. But eh, I, I'm reporting back what I see, okay? I think people... Trust me with that, and uh, that's exactly what I see. I've praised MindLab profusely in the past, and it's a great machine. You will not be disappointed if you get it, but so is the Equinox. And how much more is it going to separate? And depth, I'm seeing the same as the Equinox, uh, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm curious what you think. I'm curious what you got to say. Always look forward to reading your comments. I'm sorry if I've been bad at answering lately. I've been inundated at work. But anywho, thanks for watching, everybody, and many more videos coming. Thank you.